just like that. But quite a bit of that. And there we have a wonderful old-fashioned dish that tastes great. Now, if you'd like more information about any segment on show number 200, just call one of our info lines. Call 0055 31600, record the chosen segments as well as your name and address, and an info sheet will be mailed to you. If you have a fax machine, dial 0055 35522 on your fax machine. Follow the prompts and the info sheet will be faxed to you immediately. And as always, our lines are open 24 hours a day. Now coming up on next week's show, we take to the hills for some spring skiing fun. Of course, you can't visit the snow with children without building a snowman. We check out the scenery, the hat fashions, and meet some of the great characters of the mountain. While off the slopes, Ian cooks a dish for all season. And Felicity Kennett meets a group of very enthusiastic gardeners. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for joining us on the show that marks the end of our first 200. We hope you'll be there for our next 200. Until next week, good night. From crime to courtroom, it's compelling drama at its very best. A brand new series of the Emmy Award winning Law & Order, 8.30 Saturday following Hercules. Next on 10, The Rockford Files, A Blessing in Disguise. Wealthy and Wise, proudly brought to you by Uncle Toby's and Edgel's new frozen vegetable range. This 10 News Update is brought to you by McDonald's Family Restaurants. Good evening. Tonight, the woman accused of kidnapping a nine-week-old baby from Sydney. A court has told she may have lost her own child earlier this year. Also tonight, hundreds of commuters count their blessings after a lucky escape from this level crossing accident. Korea's former president sentenced to death his successor to 22 years jail after being found guilty of organising a coup. And how dangerous is rugby league? New South Wales launches an inquiry after two more deaths at the weekend. All the details tonight, 10.30. And in sports tonight, right after the news, Sydney Swan star Tony Lockett cleared by the AFL Tribunal of a striking charge, free to take on the West Coast this weekend. Meanwhile, the AFL's Chief Investigation Officer Martin Ahmad resigns after an off-the-ball incident saw Geelong's John Barnes stretched from the field. Plus, Monday night rugby league, the Roosters and the Sharks, the Paralympics come to a close, and a whole lot more. So please, join me for Sports Tonight, coming up right after the late night news. Right now, if you order a triple cheeseburger and can say, choose the cheesy cheese that triple cheese lovers choose when they choose the cheese, cheese, cheese in the absolutely free McDonald's Triple Cheese Challenge. It's really cheesy. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Billy Zane, Jason Priestley, and Academy Award winner Charlton Heston for the first time on television. You tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me, you hear? Tombstone, 8.30 Sunday. Good evening, and welcome to 10's Monday Night Movie. On Sunday, Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer lead an all-star cast in the television premiere of Tombstone. Next Monday, Mad About You's Paul Reiser joins Sigourney Weaver in Aliens. And tonight, James Garner stars in The Rockford Files, A Blessing in Disguise. This program is proudly brought to you by Neurofen. Neurofen breaks through pain. In Africa, I saw 50,000 people die in one week. Sort of gives you a new spin on what's dangerous. A daring new Australian drama. Medivac, soon on 10.
Whenever pain strikes, Nurofen delivers fast, effective relief to let you get on with your life. Use only as directed and see your doctor if pain or symptoms persist. Nurofen breaks through pain. What about you? I got a Kentucky barbecue quarter pack. Kentucky barbecue? Yeah, you get a quarter Kentucky barbecue chicken, chips, plus coleslaw, and a Pepsi, all for just 475. I know what I'll be having tomorrow. <laughs> In today's major announcement, Kmart, Australia's number one discounter, has top 30 CDs for only $24.95. And hammocks are left swinging at $39.95. Only at Kmart. The following title is classified AO. We recommend viewing by adults only. It contains nudity, adult themes, coarse language, sexual references, frequent high-level sex scenes, bondage, S&M, lubricants, toe-sucking, blindfolds, voyeurism, rubber accessories, honey, suspenders, donkeys and condensed milk. Stories of Love, the Clio erotic novel, free with September Clio. With creamy vanilla and macadamia yogurt and delicious mango serving on the side, new Nestle Double Delights may have you playing with some old friends again. Nestle Double Delights, a fresh taste for life. You've heard the song. Now experience the album that has captured the hearts and minds of millions of people worldwide. Robert Miles' Dreamland is the album storming the charts, featuring the masterpiece Children. Dreamland, including the new single Fable. Experience the mysticism and brilliance of Robert Miles' Dreamland. Out now. A Citibank credit card with your photo gives you recognition and security. Wherever you go, whatever you do, the world has your name on it. And to keep it there, the city never sleeps. Shavings are pain, scraping and stripping your skin, leaving it raw and burning. But now there's Old Spice Sensitive to put out the fire. A brilliant new shaving foam helps your razor glide over your skin without scraping. And afterwards, a unique hydrogel will soothe your skin, making it look and feel great. Now you don't have to burn every morning, because Old Spice Sensitive can take the heat out of shaving. Holling has a surprise. It's bigger than your dish, Maurice. Hell it is. 200 channels of viewing pleasure. Wow. But little does he know, he's created a monster. You never came to bed at all last night. It's slightly north of normal. Northern Exposure, 9.30 Tuesday. Thursday on Sex Live, love never dies, making your sex life improve with age. Any better and I'd be dangerous. Plus, take our relationship test. Do you make the grade? Sex Life, 8.30 Thursday, then at 9.30. We've got a multiple homicide. It's bad upstairs. He's a good cop, still learning to be a good human being. Where'd you put the money? On a case that will come between him and his partner. There's no help in anybody. NYPD this day. Headache strikes. Neurofen delivers fast, effective relief to let you get on with your life. Neurofen breaks through pain. Oz Lotto keeps on making people millionaires. And this Tuesday, there's yet another $3 million jackpot. Someone could have a whole truckload of money all to themselves. Oz Lotto, every winner's a big winner. When I was a kid, I loved water and milk. I still love water, and I still love milk. The only difference is now I drink Pure Light Star. It tastes great, but it's only 1% fat. Oh yeah, and I still write my name on my milk. Pure Light Star, 1% fat, 99% taste. Ah, uh, a magnificent water. Master one two one now only fourteen nine ninety drive away.
With over 90% of all houses advertised in the age, you're bound to find exactly the home you've been looking for. The age. Number one for classifieds. Are you getting the best deal for your international calls? Consider with Telstra Smart Saver, you'll save 15% when you spend just $15 or more a month with Telstra STD and 0011 International. For instance, call Hong Kong and Singapore off-peak with Smart Saver for just 79 cents a minute. 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. Monday to Friday and all weekend. So tell the world, Telstra Smart Saver. Join now at just 79 cents a minute to Hong Kong and Singapore. It doesn't cost much to stay in touch. With creamy vanilla and macadamia yogurt and delicious mango serving on the side, new Nestle Double Delights may have you playing with some old friends again. Nestle Double Delights, a fresh taste for life. Father's Day has been characterised by Kmart. Australia's number one discounter has cartoon satin boxer shorts for $15.95 and Bond's character t-shirts $19.95. Sources say it's only at Kmart. Have you? Or haven't you? I found the best thing for my dad. Everything you want for Father's Day is at Maya. Like this pack of 15 Slazenger B51 Power Plus Golf Balls, $19.95. Perhaps a Regatta Sport Polo and a choice of 11 colours. Save $5, $24.95. Or selected Rivers and Hush Puppy Shoes, save $20, $59.95. For whatever gifts you have in mind, <laughs> Maya has them all. Oh, this is great. Where did you find it? Get into Maya this Father's Day. I reckon Daisy the cows let fame go to a heap. Now she makes the butter that goes into Devondale extra soft. She thinks she's Daisy, queen of the dairy. Extra soft is pure Devondale butter blended with canola oil. So it's extra easy to spread. And it tastes fabulous. Devondale extra soft. No wonder it's famous spreading. Are you getting the best deal for your international calls? Consider with Telstra Smart Saver, you'll save 15% when you spend just $15 or more a month with Telstra STD and 0011 International. For instance, call Hong Kong and Singapore off-peak with Smart Saver for just 79 cents a minute. 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. Monday to Friday and all weekend. So tell the world, Telstra Smart Saver. Join now at just 79 cents a minute to Hong Kong and Singapore. It doesn't cost much to stay in touch. This is my new Westinghouse Freestyle dishwasher. And if style is what you're after, you really can't go past it. As for performance, well, the dual pump system easily handles the most stubborn pots and pans. And the advanced filtration system leaves your plates spotless. But as with any dishwasher, the real test is how well they do your glasses. See? Perfect. You can be sure if it's Westinghouse. So, what did you get then? Oh, the usual burger and chips. Oh, yeah. What about you? I got a Kentucky barbecue quarter pack. Kentucky barbecue? Mm. Yeah. You get a quarter Kentucky barbecue chicken, chips, plus coleslaw and a Pepsi. All for just $4.75. $4.75? Uh -huh. New Kentucky Barbecue Quarter Pack, just $4.75. I know what I'll be having tomorrow. <laughs> Do you, Deirdre, take Wayne Allen as your lawful wedded husband? And to hold from this day forward, in sickness and in health, it's true. Don't tell me stubbies make jeans. As long as you both shall live. I do. Stubby's jeans, fit for any occasion. Number one for classifieds. Oh, no. I'm hungry, Mum. There you go. If singles help stem and 
bones cross. Singles helps him. Wood bones cross. Singles helps him. Small bones cross. Singles helps him. Bones. It's all the milk in Kraft Singles that provides the calcium that kids need and the taste they prefer. Kraft Singles, the taste kids prefer. Academy Award winners Robert De Niro and Meryl Streep. I can't do this. A story about undeniable love. What am I supposed to do? Take it to a hotel? What's going on? With Harvey Keitel and Diane Wiest. Falling in love. 8.30 Friday on 10. This 10 News Break is brought to you by Nestle. Bringing food to life. Good evening. Tonight in 10 News, the elaborate plan to steal a baby. A court hears how a woman planned to change the baby's identity. Also tonight, Queensland's police minister could face criminal charges after a recommendation is put to the CJC. The future of the world's fastest swimmer, world champion Alexander Popov, in doubt tonight after being stabbed in Moscow. And the royal soap opera continues, Charles and Camilla spotted together just days before his divorce with Diana is final. Details, 10.30. And in sports tonight, right after the news, plug a pardon. The AFL Tribunal clears Sydney Swans forward Tony Lockett of a striking charge. And meet golf's newest sensation, American Tiger Woods carving up the fairways in amateur ranks. Can he mix it with the pros? Just a taste of a marvellous Monday edition of sports tonight, also including the showdown between the Roosters and the Sharks, our Paralympians final medal hall, and a whole lot more. So please, join me, sports tonight, right after the late night news. <laughs> I guess we had both changed since Rebecca had moved to the city. And I wasn't sure how this would affect things. Here, yeah, have some coffee. It smells great. But over Nescafe, we were old friends once more. Can you tell me? And then it was candlelit dinner. <laughs> when I was leaving, it was a bit impulsive. Just... <laughs> I kissed him. Ridiculous. <laughs> no, I don't think it's weird. That we've been seeing each other a little Just bit. Just go for it. <gasps> what does that mean? Yeah. They're both women of the world. <laughs> a crime in the 90s. Murder arrest for grand larceny and burglary. Unveils clues to a murder in the 70s. I understand you got one of the people who murdered my husband. History has a way of catching up. Why are you doing this to us? Law and Order, 8.30 Saturday. Would you be happier if your family ate less fat? Would you like to take some sugar out of their breakfasts? As well as get rid of some salt from their diet? Well, if you'd rather your family enjoyed good tasting nutrition and natural energy, you really can't do better than wheat bix Real food from Sanitarium. Brush with Colgate Total Fresh Stripe, and this is what happens. Because Fresh Stripe keeps on working and helps protect you for hours against cavities, plaque, tartar, gum problems, and it keeps your breath fresh. To get a superior clean, use the clinically proven Colgate Total Toothbrush with your Colgate Total Toothpaste. I reckon Daisy the cows let fame go to her head. Now she makes the butter that goes into Devondale extra soft. She thinks she's Daisy, queen of the dairy. Extra soft is pure Devondale butter blended with canola oil. So it's extra easy to spread. And it tastes fabulous. Devondale extra soft. No wonder its fame is spreading. Don't quite know what to get Dad this Father's Day? Get into Brashes and pick up top 40 CDs for just $24.95. Forget the socks and ties. Show him you really care with some relaxing CDs and beautiful music for only $19.95. Fathers will love waking up to Harry Connick Jr., the Presidents of the United States and Enzo for just $24.95. So make your Dad's Day with Brashes' huge range of gift ideas and top 40 CDs for just $24.95. Don't forget Father's Day, only at Brashes. Apparently, these Vicks vapor drops soothe the throat and clear the nose. Ha! Next, you'll be telling me that Elvis is still alive. <laughs> See? 
Nothing. Actually, these Vicks paper drops really do soothe the throat. And clear the nose. Vicks paper drops. Also available in butter menthol flavor man. Thank you. <laughs> The age. Number one for classifieds. So, what are you having for dinner? Well, it's my turn to cook. We've got some steaks at home. Pepper steak. It's easy with Maggi pepper sauce. You just add boiling water. It's smooth and rich. You can taste the real pepper. Mmm. Looks delicious. It makes our meal a little more special. She'll love it. What will I love? Another delicious idea from Maggi. Bored with the long, cold winter? Well, warm up with Australia's top V8s at the Tickford 500 Sandown, Sunday, September 8th. See the Holtons of Brock, Gardner, Lowndes and Perkins challenge the mighty Falcons of Seton, Longhurst, Jones, Johnson and Bow. Bring the whole family to Sandown and enjoy the racing. Simulators and car displays with spectacular grandstand viewing, all with free pit access and car parking. Tickford 500, Sandown, Sunday, September 8th. There we go. Good evening. Tonight, the woman who allegedly tried to steal a baby. A New South Wales court hears how she concocted an elaborate plan to pretend the child was hers. Also, the deadly bacteria that defies drugs, the bug, has been linked to two deaths in Australia. World champion and Australian resident Alexander Popov recovering in hospital tonight after being stabbed in a Moscow street. And in sports tonight, plug a pardoned. The AFL tribunal clears Mr Lockett of a striking charge. Details next. Father's Day has been characterised by Kmart. Australia's number one discounter has cartoon satin boxer shorts for $15.95 and Bond's character t-shirts $19.95. Sources say it's only at Kmart. I use this to give my skin a really deep clean. And I use this to give my teeth a deep clean. We both use this amazing new toothpaste from Colgate. Baking soda and peroxide. That's right, peroxide. All the ingredients combine, releasing oxygen bubbles that clean gently, deep between and along the gum line. You can actually feel it working to make your whole mouth cleaner, healthier. And whiter. New Colgate baking soda and peroxide. For a deep clean that can really be seen. If you spend $10 or more at Ampol or Caltex, you could win $10,000 every weekday evening through until September the 20th. And that's a grand total of $300,000. Oh, so pop into Ampol Caltex now and pick up your cash card. Even the most dedicated brown bread lover can have too much of a good thing. So how do you get all the fibre and flavour you love without getting browned off? Snap out of it with sandwich size Vitamix. I'm playing for strawberry ski double up. Fruit nut ski double up. With double the fruit of regular fruit yogurts, ski double up gives you double the pleasure. Double the strawberries, double the black cherries, double up from ski the way yogurt should be. Think of the best movies ever made, and you'll be thinking of the best songs ever written. Songs that make a movie truly memorable. Now, all those hit songs are on one CD. Pure Movies. 19 great tracks that bring those classic movie moments to life. Pure Movies. Pure Magic. strikes, Neurofem delivers fast, effective relief to let you get on with your life. Neurofem breaks through pain. Harvey Norman and Hewlett Packard bring you the Pavilion 5115 desktop multimedia computer with 
An Intel 120MHz Pentium processor, 8 MB of RAM, a huge 1.26 GB hard drive, quad speed CD-ROM, 28.8 data fax modem, 3D sound and MPEG playback. You'll also get 32 preloaded software titles like Microsoft Encarta 96, Microsoft Works, Microsoft Money and lots more. This fantastic Hewlett Packard multimedia computer package, $33.99 with bonus printer. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Billy Zane, Jason Priestley, Bill Paxton, Sam Elliott, Thomas Hayden Church, and Academy Award winner, Charlton Heston. For the first time on television. You want Ringo? I want your blood. I want your soul. I want them both right now. A major television event. You retired too? I'm in my prime. You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Tombstone, 8.30 Sunday. This program was proudly brought to you by Neurofen. Neurofen breaks through pain. He's a good cop. We've got a multiple homicide. It's bad upstairs. Still learning to be a good human being. Don't hurt him. Where'd you put the money? On a case that will come between him and his partner. There's no help in anybody. NYPD Blue, 9.30 Thursday on 10. Come on, it's time. They're waiting for you. <laughs> Baby peas must be picked at exactly the right moment for maximum sweetness, tenderness, and nutrition. Take care of these babies for me, will you? Beautiful. <laughs> McCain baby peas picked at exactly the right moment. Ah, McCain. Good morning. Hi, Bert. You've Good done night. it again. Oh, how are you? The most dedicated brown bread lover can have too much of a good thing. So how do you get all the fiber and flavor you love without getting browned off? Snap out of it with sandwich size bite of it. Oh, you know the second best thing about Father's Day is watching Dad's eyes light up when you give him a prezi from home hardware. Like $139 for this ripper Black & Decker twin pack and $39.95 for a Stanley screwdriver set or 39 bucks for a 100-piece socket tool set. The best thing, of course, is you get to have a go at them yourself. Hey. Fair oh. dinkum. There's no place like home for Father's Day.
baby peas must be picked at exactly the right moment for maximum sweetness, tenderness, and nutrition. Take care of these babies for me, will you? Beautiful. <laughs> McCain baby peas. Ah, McCain, you've done it again. She's out to impress. Put this on. Actually, I brought my own. This is the hospital, not the Playboy Channel. Wednesday. The Late Night News Edition, brought to you by Telstra. It doesn't cost much to stay in touch. And the powerful new Hyundai Coupe. Heading the Late Night News, the kidnap plan for a nine-week-old baby, a court told of preparations for a new identity. A commuter train smashes into a semi-trailer. And the train was packed with, train, uh, packed with school children. Uh, and we believe a lot of people uh, standing. So the potential was enormous. And the world's fastest swimmer stabbed in a street brawl. The Late Night News with Sandra Sully. Good evening. First tonight, a court has been told a woman who allegedly kidnapped a nine-week-old baby from a Sydney hospital was trying to come to terms with a stillbirth five months ago. The Nara court also heard how Leone Cargill concocted an elaborate plan to pretend baby Travis was hers. The story of baby Travis Walden's abduction became even more astounding today. 31-year-old Leone Cargill has appeared in Nara court twice, but this time police filled in some of the blanks. They allege Cowgill called Travis Joshua Jeffrey Smith, and that the Nowra Community Hospital nurse gave birth to her own child in March, but it was still born at full term. Police prosecutor Terry Wall said Cowgill took Travis back to her South Nowra home after stealing him from his cot at the New Children's Hospital in Sydney last Thursday. She denies the kidnap charge. The court was also told that when police raided Cowgill's home, they found a fake birth certificate and another false document from the Shoal Haven Hospital. Cowgill was refused bail, and the matter has been referred to Parramatta Court next Thursday. As Kylie Walden took little Travis home to Coffs Harbour, she left no doubt about the way she feels towards the alleged abductor. Now, I actually hate her. I really do. I have sympathy for the bloke, but, because he didn't know, but I don't have any problems at all for her. Lisa Clifford, 10 News. And in news just to hand, baby Travis has been discharged from hospital and is now in his parents' care. Fifteen morning commuters were injured when a passenger train crashed into a semi-trailer in a spectacular levin cross level crossing smash in Melbourne, rescuers were amazed both drivers escaped without a scratch. Rescuers feared the worst when they arrived at the scene. There were more than 600 passengers on the city-bound train. The impact sent many flying. I can't believe it. It, it. it seemed like an explosion. It seemed like I thought for a minute there, I thought, hey, what am I still doing here? Why are people still standing around? Fearing the worst, a small army of paramedics rushed to the scene. They say it's remarkable those on the train weren't more seriously injured in the collision. Well, I mean, the train was packed with, this train, uh, packed with school children, uh, and we believe a lot of people uh, standing. So the potential was enormous, and I think the train driver's done a terrific job in, uh, in pulling the train up as he has. Fifteen people were delicately removed from the train and ferried to nearby Preston Hospital. Many of the injured received cuts and bruises, while others complained of sore necks and backs. The semi became stuck on the Bell Street crossing when a car in front stalled. As the boom gates descended, the driver tried to negotiate his truck around the queue of traffic, but couldn't. Remarkably, the train driver emerged from his wrecked cabin without a scratch. The true extent of the damage wasn't apparent until the semi was dragged from the tracks. As the badly smashed train was hauled away, the truck driver marvelled at his lucky escape. Thank God I've got to church on Sunday and pray for me. Peter Morris, 10 News. Queensland's CJC inquiry has been told there could be enough evidence to have Police Minister Russell Cooper and Police Union President Gary Wilkinson charged with the criminal offence of electoral bribery. 
Queensland Coalition enlisted the help of former New South Wales Premier Nick Reiner to tell the inquiry memorandums of understanding with community groups are commonplace in political life. It's alleged a deal between the Coalition and the Police Association was struck to ensure the Association campaigned against Labor and it broke electoral laws. In his summing up, counsel assisting the inquiry told Commissioner Carruthers a case exists against both men. Mr Carruthers is not expected to report his findings for several weeks. It's less than a week after the Howard government's budget and a poll due out tomorrow shows it has received strong community support. The welcome news comes as Treasurer Peter Costello continues the hard sell, calling on the business sector to invest and help the economy's long-term improvement. In Melbourne tonight, at a dinner hosted by the Australian Stock Exchange, Federal Treasurer Peter Costello accused the Senate of cowardice for refusing to support the government in making the hard decisions. Earlier in the day, the Treasurer warned business it must invest on the back of the budget to make it a success. And Peter Costello flagged further changes to the fringe benefits tax. If you make uh, taxes simpler, you don't have to spend as much time trying to work out when tax is uh, payable and how much. Uh, and that frees business, particularly small business, up from uh, compliance costs. The Liberal Party's federal executive met for the first time since the March victory today and Prime Minister told Liberal Chiefs he doesn't favour going to an early election. And Mr Howard said he was pleased with the public response to the budget. The Howard government can expect good news tomorrow with the release of the first poll since the budget was handed down last Tuesday night. One survey shows the budget has been well received, with support for the coalition still strong. But that's not so for Labor. On Talkback Radio, opposition leader Kim Beasley was feeling the heat of voter anger over Labor's plan to block key elements of the budget in the Senate. Well, is it ain't a very good picture for pensioners. Listen, it's, it's an extension of your policy and you can't get away it, from the fact it is not that an you have destroyed three states and you destroyed now, the country there's, also. No, there's you're the wrong. Stephanie Kennedy, 10 News. The future of the fastest man in water is now in doubt. World champion and Canberra-based swimmer Alexander Popov is in a serious condition tonight after being stabbed several times in Moscow. 25-year-old Russian Olympic champion Alexander Popov was rushed to Moscow's Hospital 31 last night for emergency surgery. He was stabbed in the abdomen after getting into a fight with watermelon sellers on a footpath. The attacker's knife pierced Popov's stomach, grazing his lungs and kidneys. His doctor says the world champion's condition is serious, but not critical. Today, Popov's girlfriend managed to snatch a quick word before he was moved to the Kremlin hospital. At the Atlanta Olympics, Popov once again proved he is the fastest man ever, winning gold in the 50 and 100 metres freestyle. He's been holidaying in Moscow after his victorious Olympic campaign. News of the stabbing shocked colleagues and officials in Australia. It's quite shocking. Um, uh, Alex is well known here, very popular, very well respected. Popov has been living and training at the Institute of Sport in Canberra for the past three years with his Russian coach, Gennady Turetsky. He's been considering taking up Australian citizenship with the possibility of representing his adopted country at the Sydney 2000 Olympics. While doctors are confident Popov will swim again, it's still to be seen whether his injuries will affect his career. Daniela Rongaro, 10 News. Calls tonight for an urgent review of rugby league safety after the weekend deaths of two young Sydney players. The New South Wales government has ordered talks between government officials and sports administrators to find ways of making the game safer. It was a tragic weekend for junior rugby league. A young player is stretched from the field at Birchgrove with suspected spinal injuries. A short time earlier on the same oval, 16-year-old Avia Tatuli was playing second row for the Leichhardt Juniors against Glebe Police Boys in an under-16 semi-final. After being tackled, he got up to play the ball, collapsed in a fit and died without regaining consciousness. When young people play sport, uh, death is something you, you never look at, so it's just a tragedy that uh, has affected everyone and especially the family. In a separate incident at Manly, Beacon Hill played Bellrose at Harbord Park. The game ending in tragedy when 26-year-old Geoffrey Philip Grass failed to regain consciousness after a solid tackle. As teammates watched on in disbelief, he was taken to Manly Hospital but died on arrival. He could have been a victim of second impact syndrome. 
After playing a full game in reserves, he took the field for the A-grade side. We know from experience that a second head injury after the first one is much more dangerous. Medical experts say the game needs to change its violent culture and its rules need to be strictly enforced in all grades. Teammates of both weekend victims are undergoing counselling. An inquest will investigate both incidents. Michael Reid, 10 News. Champion full forward Tony Lockett has been cleared of a striking charge and is now free to play in Saturday night's important clash against West Coast. Lockett pleaded not guilty to a charge of striking, and, striking Essendon's Barry Young during the second quarter of Saturday's clash at the MCG. The tribunal dismissed the case after Lockett's advocates submitted evidence that contact had not been made. And we'll have the full story on Tony Lockett next in Sports Tonight with Tim Webster. Ahead in the late night news, a former president of South Korea sentenced to death. A deadly drug resistant bacteria kills two. It's really a concern for people who are really run down through major surgery, through immunosuppression, are having lots of interventions done in hospitals. And a former South Korean president sentenced to death for treason. Trust me. I am a doctor. Coming soon to 10, a daring new Australian drama. Any response? Start CPR. Medivac. Are you getting the best deal for your long-distance calls? Consider with Telstra Smart Saver, you'll save 15% off all your Telstra STD and 0011 international calls when you spend just $15 or more a month with Telstra Long Distance. Save 15% across Australia, across the world, across your long-distance bill. So tell Australia, tell the world, Telstra Smart Saver. Join now. At 15% off long-distance calls, it doesn't cost much to stay in touch. A Citibank credit card with your photo gives you recognition and security. Wherever you go, whatever you do, the world has your name on it. And to keep it there, the city never sleeps. Right now, if you order a triple cheeseburger and can say, choose the cheesy cheese that triple cheese lovers choose when they choose the cheese 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 in the triple cheese at McDonald's, you'll get an AFL poster absolutely free. McDonald's Triple Cheese Challenge. It's really cheesy. See this Electrolux, it's great value at around $150, except for this, the case is marked. So a limited batch of these Electrolux have been fully resprayed, rechecked, guaranteed and offered this week only at half price. Yes, just $75 for an Electrolux with power boost, zip-in cord and triple filtered air. What a bargain! Godfrey's Dandenong Road, Clayton, Maroondah Highway, Ringwood, Caulfield Clearance Centre and Branches. Go clean, go Godfrey. working washers in the world. So we introduce them to the amazing Simpson Encore. These latest Simpson washers have advanced electronics, but they're still just as reliable as ever. And the cabinets are based on a single piece of corrosion-proof steel. So they're solid as a rock. Simpson, the hardest working washers in the world. Holling has a surprise. It's bigger than your dish, Maurice. Hell it is. 200 channels of viewing pleasure. Wow. But little does he know, he's created a monster. He never came to bed at all last night. It's slightly north of normal. Northern Exposure, 9.30 Tuesday. Two men were incinerated when their utility was hit from behind by a truck and burst into flames on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. The collision happened around midday. Witnesses say there was little chance of saving the men trapped in the ute when the fuel tank ignited. The driver of the semi-trailer managed to leap clear. Police believe the driver of the ute was attempting to turn on the notorious stretch of road. The gravel truck shunted the ute 200 metres before it exploded. Australian scientists are hunting for the source of a bacterial bug linked to the deaths of two hospital patients. 
the bacteria is resistant to antibiotics. It's nearly two years since vancomycin-resistant Enterococcus, or VRE, first showed up in Australia. The bacteria has found its way into three eastern states' hospitals, affecting six patients, two of them fatally. But the New South Wales Health Department is playing down reports that we're all at risk. Infection control procedures are in place. We don't have any evidence that this is a major problem in hospitals at all in Australia. One theory is that people catch the bacteria from eating meat, the source being a drug given to cattle, pigs and poultry to promote growth. Agriculture experts say the link is yet to be proven. However, livestock from 40 New South Wales farms will now be tested. The health department says finding the source of the bacteria could take months. In the meantime, it's keen to stress that it's the seriously ill who are most at risk. It's really a concern for people who are really run down through major surgery, through immunosuppression, are having lots of interventions done in hospitals. Patients exposed to high doses of antibiotics are also susceptible because they have a weaker immune system. Health workers around the country have been briefed about VRE, the responsibility resting with them to minimise the risk of transmission. Georgie yeah. Gardner, 10 News. Mother Teresa is in intensive care in a Calcutta hospital tonight, but is showing signs she is regaining her strength. Thousands of people are staging a prayer vigil outside the hospital where the Nobel Prize winning nun is on a respirator, receiving treatment for heart problems and malaria. Doctors say Mother Teresa, who turns 86 tomorrow, appears to be responding well to treatment for a lung infection. A former president of South Korea has been sentenced to death and his successor to 22 years jail. Former generals Chun Do Wan and Ro Tae Wu were convicted of treason after staging a military coup and ordering the killing of hundreds of pro-democracy protesters. The two former generals have been on trial for their lives since March. Today a panel of three judges found them guilty on three counts. Mutiny for organising a coup in 1979 treason for ordering the brutal suppression of a student demonstration and corruption for siphoning off hundreds of millions of dollars in illegal political payments. With just two days until his divorce from Diana becomes final, is Prince Charles planning to marry Camilla? The royal soap opera moved up a notch today with publication of rare photographs of Charles and Camilla together. These photos of Charles strolling with longtime love Camilla and friends were splashed across a British tabloid. The paper claims they're the first pictures of the couple together in 20 years. They were snapped after an anonymous tip-off, but Buckingham Palace denies it leaked the information to test public reaction about the relationship between the future king and the divorcee. Still to come in tonight's Late Night News, new names among Australia's top music awards. A bureaucratic bungle that's ended a marriage. It's just really upsetting to get married and find out that you're, that you're not really married. And in sports tonight, we preview the US Open Tennis Championship, which gets underway tonight. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Billy Zane, Jason Priestley, and Academy Award winner Charlton Heston for the first time on television. You tell him I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Two Stone, 8.30 Sunday. Its 2 litre, 139 brake horsepower engine and its sports tune suspension, Hyundai's new coupe is definitely not for the faint hearted. It looks like a good rate, but is it a good home loan? If the unexpected happens, what's behind a rate like that? The economizer's rate and features can save you money. And it's got the security and full services of a major bank behind it. Which bank? Commonwealth Bank. Australia's leading home loan bank. This is so much easier without the kids. I know exactly what you mean. John's taken our lot off somewhere. So is Tony. <laughs> Eat up, guys. You can't get this anywhere else. Hey, that's a big yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to come back.
big shopping. How's your work, sir? I'm sorry? Your work? All the pizza, pasta, salad and dessert you can eat. And the ice cream cones. The Works, now with Napolitana Pasta Bake and Rocky Road Moose. $4.95 weekday lunch, $6.95 dinner. you're expected to be elegant. Sometimes you're expected to be dainty. And sometimes you just have to say, stuff them. Smith's lights. Stuff them. Past and present Olympians were among hundreds of mourners who paid tribute today to former swimming great Bev Whitfield. The 42-year-old died in Wollongong last week from heart disease after suffering a severe flu. Friends spoke of Bev's determination to win, which led to three gold medals at the 1970 Commonwealth Games and that brilliant victory in the 200 metres breaststroke at the Munich Olympics. After swimming, Bev worked with the disabled and helped raise money to send athletes to Atlanta. She'll be remembered too for her sincerity, her compassion and her sense of humour. She's up there looking down saying there, Fraser, I've packed the house again. <laughs> Dawn Fraser. A bureaucratic bungle has ended the marriage of a young Brisbane couple almost before it began. Two newlyweds were told their marriage is invalid because a court order allowing the ceremony to go ahead had expired. Michael and Rose Spencer are in love, but red tape officialdom is doing its best to spoil it. Six months ago, Rose became pregnant, so the couple decided to tie the knot. But because Rose is under 18, they had to have court approval. They received it and got married on August the 10th. But last week, a letter from the Consumer Affairs Department told the couple, the marriage is void. Why? Because the court order was only valid until August the 8th, two days before the actual wedding. It's just really upsetting to get married and find out that you're, that you're not really married. I mean, the honeymoon and everything like that that we went through and... I mean, it was all great, but to have to do it again, it's just upsetting. A spokesman for Consumer Affairs Minister Denver Beanland says, unfortunately, the government has no power to intervene in a court matter. So Michael and Rose will have to reapply through the courts and tie the knot again. They can't change the day we got married, because we got married in the eyes of God. A piece of paper can't tell us that we're not married. But apparently the courts can and have. Rose and Michael have little choice but to do it all again. Damien Curry, 10 News. In finance news tonight, Australian stocks closed down today, responding to a weaker bond market. The All Ordinaries fell almost 11 points. Among the leaders, the Big Australian fell 6 cents, News Corp dropped 9, and CRA slumped 12. Among the banking stocks, the Commonwealth fell 4 cents on heavy turnover of almost 5 million shares. The NAB dropped 17 cents, and the ANZ is down 5. The Australian dollar is trading tonight at 79.09 US cents, 50.82 pence and 85.29 yen. Gold is trading at $388.15 US an ounce. The FT100 share index is closed due to a holiday.